What's good YouTube, it's Sykos and I'm back with a Dragon Ball Super episode 59 review. Now that Beerus has destroyed Zamas in the current timeline, they expect him obviously not to exist in the future. Which, obviously, we obviously know that this is not going to happen because first of all, Goku is alive in the current timeline and in the future he's not. So really, if you try to change anything in the past, it would not affect the future as it has been discussed by Future Trunks and Kid Trunks. The present and the future may be two different timelines, but they're also two different worlds. Beerus doesn't understand this and I'm not honestly not surprised because well he's a cat. Now Trunks, Goku and Bulma, yeah she still insisted on coming, I'm thinking what the fuck why would you do that yeah but they all went back into the future and it turns out yeah obviously the future hasn't changed but as soon as they get there Zamas and the other Zamas we should call him this time or Black Goku since it has been revealed who he is right now both sends Goku and Vegeta and Trunks it also turns out that Mai is in bad shape because she's been fighting Black constantly Trunks tries to restore her health by using the sensor bean and giving her mouth to mouth which was basically Goku's suggestion Vegeta disagreed with that apparently they have to be married yeah, if that was a thing then live girls have to plan a wedding for every person they save at the beach using mouth to mouth now obviously after Mai recuperate Goku, Vegeta and Trunks head straight off to Black and Zamas he said that's where they have a little chat. Goku basically tells them that he knows about their plan how they use the Super Dragon Ball to basically clone him and Black quickly corrects him and confirms that well no because he is still Zamas in his mind but he just used the Super Dragon Balls to basically swap his body with another Goku so that body that he has is legit Goku's body obviously this is a surprise to Goku, Vegeta and Trunks but obviously we've been predicting this for ages so obviously we, we already knew all this shit making it seem as if it's some big surprise like no it's not it's not there's a lot of unnecessary talk in this episode, seriously, most of the scenes are not needed, like, it, I, I don't understand how Beerus does not know from what Trunks has told him, how can you not understand that it doesn't really work like that, yeah, because he says if a god kills another god, then that basically means that it should carry over into the other timelines, so therefore Zama should also be dead in the future, right, but think about it, if another god dies and it really carries over into the other timelines, it means, well, in the future Beerus is dead, so shouldn't it carry over into the current timeline which means Beerus himself should not be alive at this moment you get what I'm saying this is one of the theories is just so stupid like how can you not know you if that was if your theory was correct then you Beerus yourself should not be alive see I am so right it's even making me stutter and that was it for this episode to be honest it was not really that much it was just a lot of talking unnecessary talking but it seems as if the battle really begins next episode right so it seems as if from the previous discussion that they won't do it well they will be having a lot of issue because i see zamas kind of strangling or was it black strangling trunks but this time they have sense of being so i guess yeah the risk there is minimized because if one of them just fucks up you just take the sensor piece and I'm sure that Vegeta will fight much better against Black because the first time the reason why he got fucked up is because of that blade so obviously ever since then he has been training while Goku and all the other people are just like, focusing on solving that Zamas issue and of course after they recover they get stronger too because what well, a Zenkai boost so obviously I'm expecting them to be a little bit stronger not that much but a little bit and they previously was when they were fighting Zamas and Black especially Vegeta since his wound was so critical and that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did i'm never gonna bother say comment rate subscribe because you lot are not gonna do that anyway so what's the point that's all i have for now bye